hired typically by private parties to investigate information that was supplied to them by candidates, uh, be it for insurance, for jobs, for um, really any reason that you want background information on someone. We do investigations for hire, a fee, or reward. Uh, the last dozen years or so I've been specializing in homicide, missing people, more serious type of uh, crimes. Skip tracer or skip tracing is basically the art of finding missing people. I'm trying to locate a couple of buddies of mine from Vietnam. Oh yeah, certainly. The office call, we got a pretty hot case coming down. Got a call this afternoon, gentleman by the name of Jim Nelson. He is looking to posthumously award a medal to an individual by the name of Sekhmi, served in Vietnam with him, and died heroically for the guys that he worked with, that he served with. Me and Steel Scott are off to Philly to locate Wes Palermo and Joseph Daly, two of the Marines from Echo Company 27. Can you get that uh, plane on the ramp for us, fueled up? It's ready to go. Be there in 30 minutes. Bye. Nicodin was one of the other heroes of this whole environment in Vietnam. He's critical to finding the rest of the guys, understanding living someplace in Colorado. I got some leads. Once I hit boots on the ground, I'm gonna track them, find them. Just tell me that you made some progress at least. Not only did we make progress, we've got all seven Marines tracked down. Anyway. He gallantly gave his life in the service of his country. And this kid was about 19 years old. We made all these decisions on the fly. Unbelievable. That's why we're here. We're putting these guys together. These guys are all heroes. You know, he, he put his life, he gave his life, you know, for everybody else's life, you know, because he hadn't took the guy out, you know, the guy maybe, he probably took a bunch of us out, you know. He saved a lot of damn Marines, you know, and, excuse me. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. He should have been, well, yeah, he should have been awarded the Medal of Honor. Oh, yeah. So how do you feel now about it? I feel honored. I feel blessed. Uh, I feel very fortunate. Like I've uh, said earlier today, this is better than winning the lottery. It was just uh, an experience that, you know, I, I, I never thought we'd have. Oh, it's indescribable. It's just the most humbling experience. And it's been a good thing.